Digital Wonder presents, are you an INTP or an INTJ? Have you felt torn between the INTP or INTJ character types? Lots of individuals get caught in between these two personality types, and it is so easy to see why. At first glance, it seems that there are extremely few differences between INTPs and INTJs. All things considered, they do have three letters in common. They're both introverts, intuitives, and thinking types. Nevertheless, if you take a look at their cognitive functionality, you are able to see that there are large differences between them. The INTJ function stack is introverted intuition, extroverted thinking, introverted feeling, and extroverted sensing. The INTP function stack is introverted thinking, extroverted intuition, introverted sensing, and extroverted feeling. You might be asking yourself, what does that all mean? Don't worry, we will explain. INTPs and INTJs share no similar cognitive functions. What this means is that there's a great deal of contrast between these two in the way they think, but that's not the only thing that does not match up. Let's get straight into it and check out the main differences between these two character types. Number one, INTJ intuition first versus INTP thinking first. INTJs are actually intuitives first. INTPs are thinkers first. INTJs possess a dominant mental process known as introverted intuition. They are much more interested in seeing underlying meanings, patterns, and long-range visions than they're with internally analyzing as well as categorizing information. They have a state of flow when they are able to envision the future and evaluate what's almost certainly going to occur. INTPs have a dominant mental process known as introverted thinking. They're far more comfortable with complex analysis and complicated problem solving. They thrive on solving puzzles, categorizing information, and refining information to get to the bottom of the truth of the situation. Even though they love envisioning future choices, critical analysis is going to be the most preferred way of thinking. Number two, INTJs get hunches from out of the blue. For example, an INTJ might go for a walk in the morning and suddenly they get a eureka moment of realization. They run back home Home and get to their laptop to write down their new concept of theirs. They analyze it, after which they try to discover how they came to that conclusion. On the other hand, an INTP sits down to evaluate a broad range of data and information at hand. They will create new ideas from this information and will reanalyze all of them looking for which ones are actually the most plausible. The premonitions and insights that INTJs get appear to show up out of nowhere, whereas the ideas and insights that INTPs get can generally be traced back to a particular concept or principle. Number three, INTJs external world versus INTPs internal world. INTJs make use of a process known as extroverted thinking. What this means is they love to logically plan as well as design the outside world of theirs. They like everything in its own place. They need everything to be efficient and run in a sleek and organized way. They generally have no issues assigning tasks and leading others, although they do often prefer to work alone. INTPs make use of a process known as introverted thinking. Their external environment is not as important to them. They are more concerned with with organizing and categorizing their own internal thoughts. They need the internal world of theirs to be structured. They wish to sort out facts, theories, ideas, and thoughts and place them in the right category. The exterior world is much less fascinating to them, and they typically do not enjoy leading others or even delegating tasks. Number four, INTJs, direct nature, versus INTPs, flexible nature. INTJs are direct thinkers and sense outwardly. INTPs have direct intuition and then feel outwardly. As a result, INTJs are usually perceived as very direct, rational, and blunt, and to the point. They're usually self-assured of their vision and stance, but nonetheless enjoy a good debate. INTPs feeling and intuition are extroverted. They're far more confident discussing new alternatives, theories, and ideas from different perspectives rather than exclusively saying their way is the only correct way. Actually, it's a lot easier for an INTP to point out what's untrue than what's correct. The truth sometimes seems hazy to them since they see numerous different ways of looking at any subject. INTPs have no issue being suspicious and questioning the truth. This does mean that they take much more time to develop conclusions since they mull over the information for longer. Number five, INTJs stress versus INTPs stress. During a stressful situation, both INTPs and INTJs will 
both become more detached to focus and analyze the issue. INTJs can sometimes take things too personally and become focused on their gut feelings on the situation. INTPs tend to focus on analyzing their past experiences and the information at hand to resolve the problem. In the times of chronic anxiety or stress, INTPs and INTJs have different reactions and coping strategies. When INTJs are experiencing acute stress, they become wrapped up in sensory indulgences or routines. This can often be overeating, drinking more, over-exercising, or sometimes becoming obsessed with details in the surroundings of theirs. When INTPs experience extreme stress, they can become uncharacteristically insecure and emotional. They have a tendency to lose sight of their normal, rational, logical self. They have a tendency to take things personally and worry that individuals dislike or perhaps hate them. Number six, INTJs external knowledge versus INTPs internal knowledge. INTJs think that anything they discover can be used to improve the external world of theirs. They implement their understanding and insight to improve their exterior environment to make things run more efficiently and to resolve practical problems. INTPs don't need a practical problem to focus on. They often learn just for the sake of learning. They want to broaden their own personal understanding of their environment and how it all really works. They are much more likely to apply their knowledge and insights internally than be focused outwardly. Number seven, INTJs care less what others think. INTJs care about meeting their goals and adhering to their very own value systems. When individuals don't agree with them, they are able to typically shrug it off. To the INTJ, the proof is in the pudding. They are confident that their way is the best way. They will prove they're right by their actions, by showing that the method of theirs work. They don't care for social validation from others. They are not concerned about what others think about them. INTPs can get annoyed when their thinking is challenged by others. INTPs like to understand how everything fits together. They use their thoughts to form their own mental blueprint. They use this information to discover new ideas and improve things for other people. Nevertheless, when individuals disagree with them, they have a tendency to become frustrated because deep down, they actually do care about the feedback they get from others. Additionally, they have a harder time than INTJs expressing their solutions and thoughts since the knowledge of theirs is very internalized and usually complicated. On the subject of INTPs, Isabel Briggs Meyer stated they use their thinking to analyze the world, not to run it. They may have difficulty in conveying their conclusions to the rest of the world and getting these accepted or even understood. On the subject of INTJs, Carl Jung stated they will hardly ever go out of his way to win anyone's appreciation of his ideas. He merely exposes them and is often extremely annoyed when they fail to thrive on their own account. Number eight, INTJ versus INTP planning. INTJs are planners to the core. They like knowing just what will happen so when it occurs, they will be organized and prepared for it. Therefore, INTJs think logically about the steps that need to be done to achieve their goals. INTPs, on the contrary, behave very differently. They tend to go with the flow and depend more on handling situations based on their past experiences rather than thorough planning. They rarely plan out the minute details of their life. They will usually let life guide them and take action when they need to respond in the moment. INTPs are good, however, at analyzing all the information they have at hand to come up with the right solution. It just might take them a while to get there. Subscribe and get involved with the comments. We will personally respond to you. Be sure to check out this playlist of our top videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.